Hey, Cypher here. Before we get started, I've got a guest editor on this one. He runs the channel The 10,000, where he talks about history, current economics, and political philosophy. Here's a link to his channel, and let's get him to 1,000 subscribers. So one student, who was obviously confused about different names, wrote that it was Colonel Sanders who led U.S. troops at the Battle of New Orleans. Now the actual Battle of New Orleans was led by Old Hickory himself, General Jackson. And even though it was fought after a peace treaty was signed between Britain and the U.S., the combatants didn't know it, and you know damn well that the British would have never given up the Louisiana Territory if they had managed to conquer it. But luckily, Jackson and his ragtag batch of soldiers and allies managed to beat them back, ending the War of 1812 with a major U.S. victory. Clearly this was just a placeholder, but I like to imagine a bunch of troops in the swamps being commanded by the colonel himself, fighting off the redcoats with a bucket of KFC in one hand and a rifle in the other. I mean, look at that poor guy. Now that's the proper way to torture a redcoat. Force feed him KFC. He'll know the true meaning of finger licking good. <laughs> 